had a very unfortunate event occur. I couldn't figure out how to use this tape recorder. I spent way too much money on it. And I don't know how to use it. I had what I thought was the perfect solution. I had to rig it onto my phone and record it to my phone to save the episode. I think I figured it out now. I'm starting to see a lot clearer. You're going to be able to listen to this, to this episode. I talk to my brother. We talk about broken bones and rock shows. And what Hilo is all about. the scheduling for the podcast but I hope you guys enjoy this episode thank you thank you thank you We are here. Welcome back. This is Hella Final. I am joined. Yes, Justin is live. I am joined by my baby brother, the one and only Senor Justin Flores, and I am Charlie Flores. Justin, um, uh, so how long have I known you? <laughs> well, you see, I've been born for twenty-three years, and you've been born for twenty-five. No, going on twenty-five. Get your so facts you've known right. known about me for 24 years. <laughs> <laughs> the math seems kind of wrong. <laughs> no, uh, uh, I've known you your entire life, or you've known me for only your entire life. Does that make any sense? No, I don't know you for I don't know you for two years. <laughs> I've known you longer. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't even know you. I'm missing two years. I know, dude. That's kind of weird. Don't worry about it. I don't remember those two years either. <laughs> yeah, I think I think you're only you're only your brain can only handle up to four up to four years old or something. Like I think that. it's like three, maybe Is the age three? of three. You can remember that way back then. I don't know I mean, what's if, what's if the. We sit on here if we sit on here long enough, I can probably Google it. I don't know. I don't know, but what what's the what's the earliest you remember? Earliest I remember. Well, I don't I don't really know the age because. I mean, there's a lot of shit that I remember, but I can't put an age to it. I don't remember it like that. I mean, because there's certain things that happened at certain ages, so I know that age. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I know that yeah. for sure. Yeah, but I mean, I'm pretty sure I can remember before five. Yeah, I think so, too. Uh, do you remember that time we almost burned on the house? <laughs> oh, because some dumbass had an idea about painting fucking fat farms with smoke bombs. Hey, there were quicks. <laughs> wait, wait what they were quicks they were the the generic oh, the, fucking, the knockoffs yeah the knockoffs the knockoffs hey it looked there. it looked fucking cool for a second man it was a cool little tie-dye experiment that we tried 
Yeah, and then then uh, we burned who started down. the fire. Who started the fire? It was you or me. I don't know if it was. I don't know. I think it got too it hot. Might have, it, it might have been Jeremy. It might have been because Jer- I remember. I remember the chief of police came down and he pulled one of us to the side, and I'm thinking it was Jeremy. Yeah, I don't know. I just know it was like unless unless Jeremy took the fall for us, then he's the real MVP. Yeah, then we owe we owe baby <laughs> brother a whole bunch. <laughs> Yeah, but the fire department came down. We burned down like freaking an acre of grass. Yeah, we fucking took down that fucking fence that the guy owned. Yeah, the rancher next door. I know. <laughs> now yeah. there's like a metal fence and shit right there. <laughs> yeah, he like, he's like, oh, these kids can't burn this shit down. Oh, watch no. Us. Watch us. <laughs> you just watch us. <laughs> <laughs> We've done a lot of stupid shit. We've done a lot of stupid. Uh, shit. We've done a lot of cool shit together, actually. Though. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, uh, eh, not... some yeah, somewhat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it depends on what you call cool. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I mean, our lives have been pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, a little back and forth. We've. Uh, uh, yeah. How long has it been since we actually lived together? Since like actually like lived five together, years already. Well, I think it's coming up on six years. Oh, shit. Yeah. So That's it crazy. Be, no. Yeah. Well, eh, I think like maybe late 2011. Yeah. Hey, but we had a good, a good, uh, what is it like a going away party? It was the biggest party we could ever throw. Oh, yeah. I remember that accidental party. That we totally didn't get in trouble for. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. No, but I got kicked out. Yeah, well, I didn't get in trouble for it. You did. Well, I did. I got kicked out and they moved they, they made me move with grandma. <laughs> yeah, I know. I left like a week later though, because I was like, fuck that. Yeah. yeah Just so, like to... I mean, I've been gone since yeah, yeah, two thousand Early 2012 or late 2011. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, before that, it was like our prime, dude. We were playing shows. We were doing everything. You know? I know, dude. It was fucking fun. Fucking like meeting, meeting our idols and shit. It was, it was like, I don't know. It was pretty cool. Uh, yeah. I mean, we weren't, we weren't like the greatest candy ever. I mean... No, but we, we tried. We <laughs> tried. Yeah, we tried. We we were try hard. <laughs> uh, not try hard. I mean, we we. No. I thought I thought our shit was good. I mean, uh, closer to the end, our writing got a lot a lot better. Yeah. Instead, like, from like if you see like the transformation from the first song to the to the last one, they were really good. The writing styles. Yeah, even the recordings. The recordings were pretty cool. Like, we would yeah you could hear it you could hear it in the song I, I, I wish we could have like went back and you know re-recorded them maybe sometime in the future uh and get like a drum track oh, or some yeah, shit I mean, we can redo it i mean just to fuck around and do something like that yeah because oh, we are you cussing on this yeah i just yeah i don't care <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> <laughs> okay i didn't know if you wanted to be like a pg-13 no you know? no i don't fucking care <laughs> All right. i don't care nobody's listening to this anyway so it doesn't matter no, nobody watches my videos. Nobody listens to my shit. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, I don't even watch them. So. Uh, oh, okay, yeah. I'm a number one supporter. My baby brother doesn't watch my shit. Thank you. Go subscribe. <laughs> Slash. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do a plug. Maybe I'll do it after. <laughs> just be a whole freaking hour long of just plugging your shit. Yeah, I'm just going to plug my shit. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. The entire thing. Yeah. But I mean... I don't know, man. Well, I think everything we did was a really good experience. And we did some shit that was stupid, like me freaking driving bands all over the place. Oh, but that trip to McAllen was a shit, though. That was oh, a yeah, shit. Dude, that was freaking amazing. That's so fun. I wish. Out there forever I am. Oh, yeah. But then now they're called um, uh, Lifelike. Lifelike, yeah. Yeah, go check them out. They're on a uh, Facebook. Uh, they're one word. Yeah, Life like U.S. I believe they they go by U.S. because um, 
I don't is know. Is there another band like I think there's there? another another band called Life Bike, but they're like a techno or some shit. <clears throat> Just like us when we change to affliction. They oh, yeah. like in UFC UFC. <laughs> yeah, like UFC that. thing. I think that they they don't have that anymore. Oh, they don't? Yeah, I don't think so. Mm-hmm. Oh, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah. So what are your what are your plans for the future? For the future? Uh, I don't know. I wanna do more um I wanna do more of this stuff. I wanna do more like podcasts and stuff. Cause uh I got a face for radio. <laughs> yeah, what? I got a face for radio. A you know, face for radio? Yeah, you know what I mean? I mean you look alright. You're not I mean I mean <laughs> I mean have you seen all of this? <laughs> <laughs> my yeah, hair but, um, my hair's hella long my beard's hella long and I just look fucking stupid sometimes it'd be kind of nice to have like a radio show well yeah I mean this is pretty much what I'm I'm gonna just you know I'll fucking do this <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter I like I it I mean sometimes podcasts can do really good too yeah well let's not get into the whole uh, logistics or whatever that's just no, uh, I don't want to it's just, uh, 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 did it hurt when my headstock got stuck to your hair? That one show, they be like, I ripped out I your hair. The adrenaline, the adrenaline is just a show. I remember, I remember getting like stepping back, and I just felt like a shit ton of hair just rip out, and I was like, what the fuck just happened? But I mean, you can't stop. You got to keep going. Yeah, I was more mad that um I think I detuned your guitar. Yeah, really. that's that's the thing. I was more pissed. I was like, motherfucker, he got <laughs> Yeah, my thought you're the fucking one that went all crazy. I was like, oh, shit. Hey man, uh I had some inspiration. I had watched some uh videos of uh the chariot and they inspired me to go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. You know the um, I think the craziest show that we played was in New Braunfels. I think I was I was like freaking dying sick, and we played that show, and I just remember getting off the stage, and somebody carried me to the side of the truck, and I was just blowing. Oh, that was, was that. Fucking... That was that week that everybody got sick, right? Yeah, it was just fucking ridiculous. I was like, "What the hell is going on, man?" Yeah, but. I was just blowing chunks like crazy that day. Yeah. That uh, was freaking, that was a badass show. Like, the, the freaking whole room was just packed. Uh, so I, like was, you, I was, I was pissed that show. Heads in a big old pit. I, I was pissed that show because my amp had oh, yeah. recently broken, remember? Because uh, I think it was me and Roger, we were in the back of the, the trailer. For some odd reason, we were in the back of the trailer. I don't know why we thought it was a good idea. And um, somebody... I'm not going to point any fingers. You can't even see me if I point fingers. Somebody uh, decided, hey, I'm going to put uh, this uh, amplifier into uh, this little box. And it rattled around and, well, knobs got turned and they never turned back. <laughs> they broke uh, off. <laughs> yeah, they broke off. That show, that one show that we played, um, I think it was the night before, uh, there was no problems with it. No problems, but the next day, oh, you better believe I, I was mad. There's like clips of it, of me like jamming out and then having to turn back and pushing the preset. I keep pushing the preset. I wish I had like a fucking floor thing so I just had to step on the preset and it didn't look so stupid. I had to wait for the breakdown and then like reach my fucking left hand and hit the button. It was like, oh. It was so yeah, I remember much. I remember looking back and you were punching your fucking head. Yeah, I was like, motherfucker. Ugh. And then I was like, oh, shit. And I fucking turned down the volume and I just kept pressing the fucking button in between fucking songs. And then I looked at you and I was like, this shit sucks. <laughs> it sucks. Hey, uh, but I didn't have the bright idea to put it in there. I, I don't know. I don't know who it was. Was it... Who was in the band at that time? It wasn't Roger. Roger wasn't in the band. I don't know who I was in the back with. Who played? Who played for that show? 
Was it just the? It, it had to have been Roger. Okay, yeah, then it was Roger. Um, yeah, it was because we came here to Crystal. Yeah, and we did like a little three, three day tour three or days. whatever. No, three four days. days. We four played days four days in a row because we played uh the town over two shows in one day. Oh, that's right. Yeah, and one of them was fucking cold as shit. Oh, I remember that. That that's the day that Roger got sick. You were sick the day before, and then Roger got sick. Yeah, I remember. I remember him getting off stage, and like his fingers were just frozen. Like, yeah, I think I don't know if he was bleeding or not, but his fingers are just frozen. Yeah, I remember that shit. And like it's fucking Texas, dude. You wouldn't think like, oh yeah, yeah I'm gonna get fucking frostbite for playing a show in in 35 degree weather, you know? Yeah. <laughs> It yeah. was bad that day, man. Even even with like the adrenaline going, you were freezing cold on the fucking stage, dude. It sucked. Yeah. I don't know, man. I wanna I wanna relive some moments that we had together in the past. I popped my finger right now. I mean we have twenty three years of moments. <laughs> twenty three. Uh remember that time that uh we both got bikes for Christmas? Oh, uh, you did a front flip? No, that was a different time. That was a different time. You're jumping ahead. That was when I learned how to ride the bike. <laughs> oh, okay. So, no, when we first got it uh, on Christmas, it's like there's footage of it. I got to find it somewhere. Uh, we got it, and um, I, I don't remember. I don't, think we, I don't think we had ever ridden a bike, though. Yeah, we, had, we hadn't we had even gotten on a bike, and I was like, oh, I was so excited. I was like, yay, got a bike. And then uh, I, I, I got on the have, bike. Did they, have, did they have training wheels on them? Yes, they had training they wheels. They, we got the same one. I believe they were mongoose. Like they were a, huffies. Were they huffies? They were huffies. I remember that. Okay, they were huffies, but they, they were, were like gray. Red, they were like red, white, and blue. I thought they were gray. No. They were Why red, is my memory blue. bad and yours is better? Because I could have I swore. I could have swore. I told Grandpa. The what? No, I could have swore that I was like six or something. Or like five, when we got those. No, because I remember, I remember getting the bike, and I told them to take the training wheels off because I didn't like them. <laughs> and I had never ridden a bike, and I got on the bike and I started riding it like that. Uh, I remember I got on the bike, and then that little hallway from the living room to the the dining room, yeah. I like busted shit. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know how little kids are, you know, like, I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay, no, I'm okay, don't worry about it, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, I remember great-grandpa had, had these big old, like, bikes, and, um, like, we were short, I mean, we were freaking, what, like, maybe seven, oh. eight years old. All oh, the three freaking, feet tall. Yeah, three feet tall, the bike is like four feet tall or three feet tall, and the fucking hole right in the middle Oh yeah, yeah. You you get off the bike and you try to stand up and it just fucking impales you like it's fucking hard. No, oh, just rides up your gooch. Yeah, I remember. I remember getting hit so many times on that shit. No, that that time that I flipped over, I did a front flip. It was the time that we went racing. We we had already learned how to ride the bike, and then we're like, let's race back and forth down the 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 dead end. The hill. Yeah. So I went going all full speed and shit and then you went and then you stopped before me because you were like no you're fucking cheating or whatever and then i, I <laughs> and then i um i hit the wrong one i i hit the front they were brake the, they were yeah, yeah they had two the brakes that you just backpedaled the brake no there were there were the there were the two brakes the the handles i hit oh, okay, i hit okay. the one I'm and then, of, i'm thinking of jeremy's bike i hit the one and i flipped real bad and it yeah. hurt I heard a right lot. Right in front of the mailbox, right? Uh, no, it was like close to where we go down to go to the, the bike trail. I, no, I specifically remember you flipping right in front of Grandpa's mailbox. Are you sure? Yeah. I just that remember. neighbor that had the big old pig right there in front of their house. Oh, no shit. I just yeah. remember it hurt like a motherfucker and I walked the bike back. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no, fuck. Because remember, <laughs> I was like, remember fuck this demon. Then, well, because remember back then that road... At our house, that road was just nothing but grass. There was nothing but grass back there. No, it was like and a gr- had, it was like a gravel. We made our, no, we had made our own little trail to walk through that that to walk through to get to the track. Uh huh. 
And um, I know at our house, we would turn around and um, cause who lived back there? It was like a teacher that used yeah. to live there before. Yeah, somebody lived back there and we would never go over there. We went once to get a dog because <laughs> they had puppies. Yeah, yeah, yeah man, that, that that hurt a lot. Like a lot. <laughs> How about you talking about your broken arm? Oh, my broken arm story. That one's, uh, oh, I hate that one. <laughs> Um, this, that, that time was, um, that I remember going in my head, like in my head thinking is like, yeah, I don't want to go home that day because, um, nah, I just didn't want to go home. Uh, it was just, you know, usual. Well, mom was work. Uh, she was going to school at the time. So I was like, yeah, I'm not going to go home. I'm going to go visit my uncle and hang out with him. Uh, unbeknownst to me, nobody was fucking there. They had decided to go to Mexico to visit family. So uh, I ride the bus. Like, I'm going to go talk to them, you know, go, hey, uh, can you stay over here? Because you know, they're not going to tell me no. I get there. I'm knocking on the door and no one's there. So I decide, uh, oh, well, fuck it. I'm just going to walk through the back and uh, get home. Maybe we didn't live that far. What is it, like two miles? Two miles from Grandma's house? Almost about four miles. Uh, well, yeah, I was like nine or whatever, nine or ten. So uh, I, we had left our scooters there. Well, I had left my scooter there, so I took my scooter and then I went uh, went to to go walking along, you know, walking down the street, and uh, you know, a couple of dogs came and bothered me, and I kicked them away. I'm like, yeah, you're shit, 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 you know that shit. <laughs> And then uh, I passed by this one house and this big ass fucking black dog. I don't even know what it was. I don't know what kind of breed it was. It doesn't matter. It's dead now. Um, it just came like full force. And I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> and I'm like, I swing over the, the fucking scooter. It's a scooter. It's going to swing around. It smacked him and then it smacked me in the back of the leg and tripped me up. And I fell on my arm. And my poor little 120 pounds broke my arm. It was a little hairline fracture. You were not 120 Dude, I was. Like, I was. like 90 pounds. I was little. I was a little fuck. But whatever. It broke my arm and it hurt. It was like a, a at the point of my life that I was like wearing sweaters all the time. And mom had just bought me this like green and gold sweater. I remember that. I think it was like a FUBU sweater or some shit. And then... uh. Yeah, I'm over here crying, and then I got up, and uh, and like my first reaction was, "Fuck," that's what I said, "Fuck." And then there's this little family with this little ass house, and they have like goats outside and shit. And then they're like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> so they take me inside, and then uh, they call my mom. My mom's barely coming back from school. The ambulance gets there, and then my mom gets there, and then they were going to cut the sweater. We're poor at the time. We still are. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we get the, they they somehow get the damn thing off of me. I'm still crying like crazy. And uh, they put this, like, little airbaggy thing on my arm. And my arm hurt. I couldn't move it, like, from the middle of my chest. I had it, like, from where I broke it, I had landed on it. It was just like chilling in the middle of my chest. I couldn't move it like down an inch or up an inch because it hurt. So uh, they were like, oh, you got to give me your hand. And I was like, no, it fucking hurts. So they end up taking my hand and putting it into this like air sleeve or whatever. And then they pushed the air and it compressed it. And then it felt so much better. I don't know why it felt better, yeah, but it did. And then they gave me a fucking full arm fucking cast thing. I had that one for like three weeks or whatever. And then they gave me another one, a blue one. It was like from like the elbow down. And that one, uh, when they took it off, I had like a fucking twig in there because they get itchy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that With that <laughs> that arm one, I could like pull it halfway off of my shit. That shit was fun. 
It's like, I can get it off. And then they took it out and my hand was all flaky or it was fucking weird. Yeah. Yeah. I break bones. How about you? I've never broken a bone. I know you haven't. God, man. (laughs) Dude, it fucking hurts. Like... Man, my phone is blowing up right now. What the fuck? Uh, I don't know what's going on. I put mine on silent. Put yours on silent. Oh, also, how we're doing, uh, I didn't even say how this is happening. Uh, Justin lives far away, so we're FaceTiming, and uh, we're recording this, because... Hopefully yeah. it works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I told you it works, so it works. <laughs> yeah, but I mean... <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Well, I, <laughs> I just uh, new to this, so I'm pretty sure we don't know what the hell we're talking about. Yeah, I don't about. know what's going on, but I mean, we're going to test this bitch out. Uh, I just got this Zoom, Zoom H6, and uh, you know, I've been wanting to test it out. Haven't had a lot of time to get the boys together, and uh, I just really wanted to talk about something. So I pulled up my little brother, he came in clutch. Oh, I'm always here. Yep. Sometimes I'm working, sometimes I'm not. And right now Most you're. I'm working. <laughs> right now you're working and not at the same time. <laughs> oh, well, I am working. I'm on call. No, oh, you're on call. <laughs> yeah. So if anything does happen, I gotta go missing. All right. Well, that's fine. Yeah. If it does happen, then uh, we'll cut it off. <laughs> Damn, that's a burp. Oh man! Do you remember the first show we went to, Justin, where we weren't performing? The first like big show. Yeah, like we had. Or yeah, well, it wasn't like a show. Yeah, like a concert type deal. No, it was just a show. (laughs) Just a show. Yeah, just a yeah. show. It was just a show because I mean, when you imagine a show and a concert, you imagine a concert being freaking forty thousand people, twenty thousand people, you know. <clears throat> it was more of a show. It was like maybe two thousand. No, not even two thousand people. Maybe less than that. Like a couple hundred or something. Yeah, maybe in the maybe in the thousand range. <clears throat> but yeah, I remember that show. That show was fucking awesome, dude. It was like, it was like two big tours meeting up in San Antonio, and um, at the time it was like our favorite band, dude. So it was, I mean, it was just fucking awesome. Like, I think the my the the band that I wanted to see the most was Miss May I, and they were just fucking intense, dude. Like. I think they were all the same age as us, like 16 years old, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But it was like bands that I didn't even know. Like, there was, well, I had never heard about Our Last Night. Oh, those yeah. Guys were fucking, those guys were 13, 14 years old. Yeah, the singer was like 14 years saw, old. Yeah, when I saw that, I was like, like these guys are fucking great, you know? I think you were like, we could do that shit. It'd be easy. Yeah, yeah but it was just badass. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. And I don't remember all the other bands they were playing. Uh, I know it was Attack Attack. And, um, well, well, we didn't see Miss May I that day, did we? Yes, we did. Okay, then it was, I think it was, it was, it was, it was, it was I, same show. I think it was, it was I Set My Friends Attack on Fire. Attack. It was a tech attack. I set my friends on fire. Uh, hour last night. Uh, uh, the color morale. The color morale. I think that was it. Um, well, I think that was it. That was the first show. I don't think Austin Carla was at the bad day anymore. No, they had kicked him out. He was just forming um, of Mice and Men. Oh, okay. Do you want to talk about high-low, Justin? And what... Yeah, what? We can... We can go over a little bit of it and what I mean, what not, it entails not, like what what not, what's the vision for it well i mean first we got to talk about what it is first. yeah what is it 
what you can't it can't really be explained just by me because it's it's a lot of people we have we have like, like about 10 right we have about 10 people that we're all we all pretty much we we vibe i don't want to get all fucking stupid with it but like you don't want to get all gay with it yeah like all millennial with it we vibe so i mean we we it's all right justin just suck just, suck everybody's dick right now dude just <laughs> go a lot with it but like we're all a big group of friends that we all get along we we all love just being around each other and all of us have pretty much the same interests, but a little different, you know, same thing, but different. <laughs> <laughs> same thing, um, but different. Yeah. But I mean, um, we're car enthusiasts. Uh, some of us, some of us like trucks more than cars and we, uh, I don't know how to put it. <laughs> um, just put it into cause a way, I know because you know, I know Charlie Charlie's not really a big car guy you know but I mean I, you put a fucking badass guitar in front of him no so I'm, I'm pretty much tell you I mean I don't know I don't know how to explain it I'm like a nerd in a different way you guys are nerdy about cars I'm nerdy about like like and music I mean, equipment not, and we're shit not like, we're not like fucking geniuses about cars but we can figure our way out around it, you know? Yeah, it's all about trial and error. We, yeah, and um, I don't know, we kind of want to we kind of want to bring like something new to the car scene. Well, it's not something new, but bring something that's been missing from the car scene because everybody nowadays is all about, oh, that stance nation bullshit. It's all know? just like one set know. deal, right? Just like yeah. if your car is your car is... Everybody, yeah, and everybody sees the car and they want to be exactly like that car. It's and not like, just like what what what's going on with uh, high low. It's like it's cars and trucks. I mean, you yeah, can do whatever you want. It's it's yeah, more like, of like a family gonna, group we're not, type of deal. Yeah, we're not going to tell you you have to your car has to look exactly like like this, fucking stamped out and fucking rice out and shit. You can do whatever the hell you want to your car. We're not going to tell you how to do it. But I mean, you can you can do whatever you want. If you need the help. We're here to help you. We're gonna we're gonna help you do whatever you want. <clears throat> and pretty much, we just want to be like diverse. We want to have everything, everything in the car scene. You know, I mean, if somebody wants to bring a bike yeah. in there, we can bring a bike in there. Um, because the thing that I'm trying to go for, I want to go. I want to be a professional drag racer eventually, you know? I know it sounds stupid, but I mean, that's what I want. No, that's going to do. I'll, I'll buy you the FR suit if you want. <laughs> yeah, but I'll I mean... put you a little uh, high low logo on there. I'll be like... <laughs> J-Flow like, on the I, fucking sticker and shit. I want to... I want to open up, like, a performance shop where people can just bring their car in to me and tell me what they want and I can do exactly what they want. You know, just... I mean, because you see, you see all these TV shows and everybody just freaking paying people to do their shit, you know. And I mean, I want to do that too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But I mean, I don't want. I'm. I'm not trying to become rich off of something. It's just something I love doing. I've done. I've worked on cars my entire life. I mean, I've strayed. I've strayed away from it for a couple of years, but I mean. Yeah, I know. I remember when you were little, you were always like uh, looking over a hood of a car and shit, you know, trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Usually I wasn't the the one to be under it, (laughs) under a car or anything. And like, and when like, how do I explain it? (laughs) Um, If you don't want to go there, you don't have to go there. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to get into all that because there's there's a lot of emotion behind everything. You know, you you can you can think of something like that's happened or whatever, and it just wants to push um, you more forward to 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 the thing that you yeah, want to do. Yeah, yeah, I get you, you. I know what you mean. Yeah, because I mean, 
we have big influences in our life and i mean to everybody it can be different it can be a it can be a family member uh a really good close friend or something you know like i mean to me to me it's always been like my father figure my my grandpa he he was always showing me everything and um I mean, he was taken from us too soon, yeah. and I couldn't really do everything that I wanted with him, you know, and him teach me more and all that. But I mean, I'm glad I did have the time to learn as much as I do know, <clears throat> which is not not that much. <laughs> but I mean, I can pretty much figure my way around the car, you know. Yeah, I think and, I got that too. Like, a, uh, I'm like halfway there. Uh, cause I'm a visual learner. Uh, I don't know. I've always been like that. That's how I learned yeah, how to play. I mean, that's, that's how I learned how to play guitar. I mean, I just like watch people do shit. I, I mean, I do that most of the time on like the your guys' builds and shit. I just watch it. <laughs> like it doesn't. Yeah. Like I'm not doing and much, like, but you know, I'll retain memory. Yeah, but I mean, and that's the point. Like, it can be an e- as easy as just changing the oil in your car. You know. Yeah, I did that well, once, and I was like, "Screw that." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. But I don't want it to be just about the cars, you know. I want it to be about a big group of friends and family that just love to hang out and have like have a good time, you know. And but I mean, the pretty much the reason we started it was to have a good a big car scene, you know. Yeah, just and to not, yeah, and, just to bond and shit, you know, do bro shit. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we all we all pretty much love the same thing: beer and barbecue. Oh yeah, <laughs> beard, barbecue, and beards. It's the triple B's. That's what I should have done. That's what it's called: the triple B's of life, Justin. Triple Some of B's. Us have better beards than others. <laughs> well, I mean, chew. Well, not not me, but I mean, <laughs> it's all right. You got a little chin strap. It's all right. Yeah. Get it ready to shave it all off. <laughs> no, don't do that to yourself, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby face. Come back. <laughs> don't be baby faced. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, there's really, it's really straightforward. We're not, we're, we're trying to bring back, like, just the family part of the of the whole car scene. You know. You you just like want the like the. The Fast and the Furious feasts at the end of the movies and shit. That's what you want. Yeah, not to sound gay, but that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna fucking like, bless the food like they do. Right? No, okay. Well, I mean, we're not gonna get that far into it, but I mean, we could hold hands. <laughs> we could hold hands as long as uh, I got my right hand free to eat some fucking ribs or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. But I mean, if if there's people listening that want to join a car crew and want to have have a good a good yeah, you're, all right, you're backing you up all the way. You're more than fine of just letting us know what you got and what you want to do. And I mean, if we click, then you're pretty much in. <laughs> uh, we I lost you there, right there, Justin. Uh, I didn't get half of that. Um, what part did you get? <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I guess I'll just say it again. Yeah, just say it again. Repeat yourself. Okay. Well, if you're if you're a person that that likes cars and likes trucks, whatever whatever you have, you know, you don't have to have a car or a truck. You can you can have a bike or something. Um, if you want to have a good a good circle around you backing you up all the way through your build or whatever i mean just message us you want to join our car crew i mean we're more than happy to have more people behind us you know yeah that's for sure that's for sure yeah and uh um, willing to grow uh you guys are willing to take applications as well as uh whatever yeah and i mean we're not we're not assholes we're not going to freaking tell you Oh no, you have a fucking Honda Civic. You're not gonna be able to do it. No, fuck that. We're not douchebags. 
I mean, we can be. <laughs> no, you just have to, to figure out where um, or how that person feels pretty or whatever. It, yeah, pretty much we we want to get a feel for you if you're a, a good person, I guess. I mean, I mean, everybody's a good person given the time of day, but <clears throat> I don't know, really know how to explain it to somebody without sounding like a baby. You're cutting off just. Yeah, I'm a fucking corpus, dude. There's wind everywhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and it's sticky as shit because there's a lot of salt in the air or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so that's high low. Yeah, that's high low for you. High low. And you can, uh, Follow Hilo on uh, Instagram and um, Twitter, and uh, there's a Facebook oh, we have page. An Instagram now? Yeah, there's an Instagram. What? Yeah, uh, it's at H I L O T X on Instagram. I didn't even know that. What the fuck? <laughs> Instagram what and Twitter. I told you I'm the media guy. I got that covered. <laughs> Did you post pictures on Instagram? Uh, I don't know. Somebody did. I think uh, it was Elio. Elio posted a picture. So, uh, yeah. Uh, a picture of just the three trucks. Right? Yeah, <laughs> I'll give you the the link to it later, so you can uh, you can go and post something. Man, I need to get a camera and start like doing pictures and shit. Yeah, I need to get a camera so I can do these videos and crap, and post it on the badass rolling shot. Yeah, I'm gonna do all that. And I guess I'm like the camera person and. Uh, well, you're our commentary person. I'm the one that's going to be yeah, editing definitely. videos and shit for you guys. Yeah. But I mean, on the Facebook page, all of us are going to be on there. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so. I don't know how, I, I mean, I don't know if it tells you who's the one talking to you on Facebook. No, it doesn't, but um, we can tell. Uh, it says under your, uh, under a post, it says who posted. Yeah. No, but like on comments, why? Oh, that yeah. it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah. uh, we'll know. Or if not, we'll just figure it out as that happens. But uh, uh, I wanted to take questions from people. So uh, if people want to ask me stuff about anything, I'm pouring a drink right now into my Yeti. So if you can hear that, I am sorry. I don't know how much, how sensitive this microphone is. I bought it for like $35 and I'm barely getting to use it with its full potential. Um, no, yeah, if you want to ask questions uh, to anybody in the High Low crew or uh, just me in particular or anything, uh, give us the hashtag Hell If I Know Show on uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, wherever you want to do it. And uh, we'll answer your questions. And if you just specifically want to know about a build, then just uh, hashtag high low, uh, whichever spelling suits you, H I L O or H I G H L O W, however you want to do it. And we mean, will respond. Know, if, if you want to know anything about our build, we're not going to be secret. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Maybe when it comes to making a shitload more power on some of these cars. Then we'll kind of tone it back on what we tell you. <laughs> yeah, I guess if you want to know what car has what or whatever, um, go ahead and shoot a question out to somebody. You know, mm-hmm. We'll have uh, information for you guys shortly. If Charlie can't answer answer you, then... No, I'll, I, I will call someone in to help me. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, I'll do that. That that yeah. will be no problem for me, or I'll Google it and I'll look for the best answer on Google, and I'll answer <laughs> it for you. I didn't say I'd answer it. I just you know I get an answer for you. That's about all I know. I get a true answer. There'll be an answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there'll be an answer. <laughs> just don't know if it'll be right. <laughs> That's pretty much why we call this hell if I know. Ask me something, I'll tell you it. <laughs> I'll tell you whatever you want. 
Whatever you want to hear, I'll tell you. Yeah, you want, <laughs> you want to know that? Gotcha. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Justin, uh, I think you're coming in and out. It says poor connection. I don't know if it's on my end or your end. It's on my end. Oh, well, I mean, you're still coming out pretty clear. Well, I guess we're coming up to a little wrap in this segment of... Uh, oh, yeah, Do I we guess... really know each other as brothers? I don't know. <laughs> Do you really know me, Justin? Uh, I, I, okay. You want me to answer honestly or you want me to... I guess you can, you can, no, you can answer honestly. I don't care. Uh, I think we've grown apart. I think so too. I think it's been like the years that we haven't like spent together, but, uh, you know, I think, you know, we're, we're we're still, we're still the same, just a little different. Yeah. We're just a little different. We used to go every single day hanging out with each other from, we went to school together and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Every day we fucking shared lunch and shit. We didn't share like a sandwich or anything, but we had lunch together. That was, yeah. that was you know, because we'd, we'd both go hungry if we had to share food. Because <laughs> <laughs> we're big boys. Somebody's hitting yeah. a pole or some shit. Tell them to shut up. Tell them that we're recording a podcast, god damn it. <laughs> Tell them that you're supposed to be working and you're doing a podcast with your big brother. Because fuck work. Man, it'd be kind of cool if we can like patch everybody in to one phone. Yeah, it'd just be chaos as fuck though. I mean, we could do it like if it's on Skype or whatever. Because the Facebook one that we do, it just sounds like hectic. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Sounds real hectic, but I mean, I think that's the only way it would get done because everybody has different schedules and uh, we're always conflicting, like, um, how it's going to happen. And then when everything comes up, you know, I end up getting busy and like, I never want to be busy because I want to just like, uh, I want to do this shit. I want to talk about whatever with my friends, you know, I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. I can't just talk I to think, myself. I, I talk to myself. A- uh, I can't I just to get a good <laughs> podcast. <laughs> fuck up not. To get a good podcast, we need a big table and a lot of beer and open minds. We're good. <laughs> open minds. Yeah, I think yeah. with a couple of beers, you get an open mind. Um, yeah. But I think that it, it would be good with like a solid four people because if it's more than four, uh, it just gets like bunched up and people start talking over each other, just like we did right now. Yeah. Because you want to say your point and you got to wait your turn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. <sighs> Did you hear that blow? You're going to hear it when you listen to it. You're going to hate yourself, Justin. It, it, it goes online. <laughs> it is going to go online. I'll put it up later. Not later, later, yeah. but later. Cut up all the awkward silences. And yeah, I'm going to cut that one part that was just real fucking weird. Yeah, well, we didn't know what to talk about. Yeah, well, you'd never know what to talk about. Who, me? Yeah. Your fucking podcast. No, well, no, it's our podcast. You fucking said that. Oh, now, it's, now it's our podcast? Yeah, Justin, it's our podcast. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you you want to go back to doing the triple Bs, Justin? Is that what we're going to do? When are you going to come to visit so we can fucking have a barbecue whenever we all have off? Yeah. Your time needs to co- coincide with ours, and whenever we get off, you got to get off so you can come over here. Dude, like, starting next week, I'll have my days off again. So. What, your weekends or your regular ones? My weekends off. Hell yeah. I'll no plan more it. working Sundays. Oh. Yeah, Sunday fun day. Mm-hmm. It hasn't been a bad Sunday. I had to drive out of town, and then I got back, so... I'm pretty fucking tired. It's a hot fucking day. It's like 95 over here. What's it? What's it over there? I don't even know what time. What it is over here? What is it? Uh, It is 78 degrees and 20 mile an hour wind. Shut the fuck up. You have a better weather than we do. Yeah, but when you're standing there, you're getting all that freaking stickiness on you. Yeah. Yeah, you got a lot of humidity. (laughs) 
It's like a sticky <laughs> hot over there, man. That's why I don't like going over there, to be honest. It's just weird. I mean, it's I've sticky lived hot. Here for fucking, I've lived here for five years or whatever, and well, it's, it's a sticky hot. I wouldn't recommend it. Well, it's coming to my time to leave this dump, so I guess I'll call you later. Uh, yeah, I guess if you want. I mean, uh, well, I guess uh, we'll cut it off here. Okay, thank you, Justin. Thank you for uh, being the, uh, well, being the the sixth person to be on this thing with me. Uh, Six? Yeah, there was five people. Well, fifth. Never mind, I don't know how to count. I was counting myself. Does uh, it make me an asshole if I haven't heard the first one? Uh, a little bit, because you're not respectful. You should listen to it. Dude, I don't have the time. I'm gonna listen to it. Okay. Why don't Why don't you, you listen to? It. You got my word. I'll listen to it today. Why don't you listen to it on your drive home? Because I know it takes like 45 minutes to get home. Probably. Oh, shit, my drive home is 10 minutes. <laughs> well, shit. Listen to it now. You got your headphones on. I see them. Yeah. It's as easy as click, click, boom, and then you're listening to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just warning: the beginning of the first <laughs> podcast, the song is real fucking loud. <laughs> I don't know how to fucking edit, <laughs> but I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, it's gonna get better. Uh, this one's gonna be a lot better, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna talk to you guys in the next one. If you guys wanna leave us a, a question or anything, uh, we'll answer questions in the next one. Uh, hashtag Hell If I Know Show, and um, this has uh, been uh, Hell If I Know. Uh, thank you so much, Justin. Uh, we'll talk to you later. I love you. Bye. See you later. Do I just hang up? Yeah, you could just hang up. <laughs> All right. Okay. But, yeah, like I said, if you guys want to check out uh, Hilo and uh, everything that's going on over there, uh, there's Facebook. Um, Facebook, you just uh, backslash uh, H-I-L-O-T-X. And then uh, on Twitter and Instagram, it's at H-I-L-O-T-X. Go ahead and follow and, uh, you know, ask questions. If you need help with uh, anything, uh, we'll get you those answers. Thank you guys so much for listening, uh, and we'll we'll see you guys in the next one. We'll, we'll, you'll hear us in the next one. Okay.